Hey guys, my name is Sila, and if you've been watching me for a while, you know I don't do clickbaits. This video is literally what the title says. This method allows you to mesh any base on any map, no matter where they build anything. You can mesh pretty much anything you want and it is completely broken. There's no mesh holes, not, none of that. You literally have a few structures and yeah, you can just mesh anything. Now the reason I'm actually showing this glitch out is because one, I've known that Wildcard have probably been watching a few of my videos before, so hopefully this can alert them and tell them that this glitch exists, bring some light to it and maybe they'll fix it. And two, because this glitch was, requires a very specific setup, I hope that this glitch can allow you guys to determine if people are trying to mesh you or they mesh someone or if any tribe is meshing. Because if you see this structure in the world, is definitely for meshing. So I hope that this video does um, bring light to this situation and help you guys determine and report people that mesh. Now a very important disclaimer, I personally am very very against any sort of duping, uh, meshing and especially DDoSing. I don't mind special like easter eggs or like glitches that you can use but I'm really against any sort of like duping, meshing or exploiting. Now in the first part of the video I'll be showing you guys exactly how you do this glitch and on the second part of the video I'll be showing how people can do it in different base spots and I'll be using like four main caves that people live in, the best cave on Ark currently as an example, and hopefully this will get Wildcard's attention so they'll actually patch this really fast. And uh, yeah, with that being said, let's get straight into it. Right, so this glitch is very simple. That's one of the major problems of it is because of how simple this is to do. Um, you really only need a billboard, pillars, ceiling, and climbing picks. And then rocket launcher, tech rifle, anything that you use to blow up people's base. You can also use this method to build in the mesh by the way because you can do this anywhere so you don't so people don't like just mesh bases with it they also use this to build in the mesh. So this method is really simple as I said. You just want to find a slope, any slope, literally any slope in the world. Just it has to be at like the right height and stuff so you have to do a few tries. Now you want to put two ceilings, uh, two pillars down, sorry, and then you want a ceiling, snap a ceiling on top of the pillars, and then you want to put a billboard in front of it. Now, you just need a climbing pick right now. You want to put the climbing pick in your hotbar, and you just want to start climbing. Now here is what you don't want to do. You don't want to like be in front of the billboard. I'm going to show you a few times why this doesn't work. And this is probably why how how this actually got passed, like testing or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, if you climb normally pretty much, you just like get kicked out to the top. That's not how this thing works. You have to go directly under the billboard and then it will, you have to go under the billboard and then look up and then that will kick you under the mesh. And as you can see, I'm under the mesh. So yeah, kind of that simple. Now. Granted, it does teleport you back up if you hit the water. However, this does not matter because the problem is not like you getting back up. The problem is as soon as people can get under, there's so many things people can do. And over the course of this video, I'll be showing you all the caves or all the major caves in this game that you can pretty much mesh with this um, thing. And if you're living in one of those caves, look out for this structure, this specific structure. Two pillars, a ceiling, and a billboard. Look for that structure, and if you see that they're meshing, click the report button and try to get them banned. That's all you can really do until Wildcards actually decide to fix this, because there is no prevention of it. Like the best you can do is just spam the top of your cave. That's kind of how you can stop this, because you have to place like pillars. But yeah, anyways, I'm just gonna show you guys those um, cave examples. All right, we are 19.224.7, right above the final place of Ice Cave. Now, Ice Cave is probably one of the most hardest to raid cave and best cave on Ark. And uh, guess what? This method works. Again, go under the structure, click, look downwards, jump. Just fall straight down and boom. Literally the final part of Ice Cave. You could be like, oh, there's internals and stuff, yeah. But still, this method literally works anywhere. 
this method is so broken that you can like precisely calculate using single player where you want to land and then fly straight up and do it like right above there. Heck, you can even use a tech suit and fly to the place before you go under. Like, if people drop somewhere around like here, right? There's absolutely no way people have internals like back here. And then you can just meet run your entire base from the inside. You see how broken this is? They can use a tech suit to precisely target and like a GPS obviously to target the exact place where they know that you don't have internals or they can just try out an error like this is so broken because it skips every single defense this is literally where people saw loot so yeah you can also land on the water I guess if you live in ice cave spam the area above the cords are right there just spam all of that crap and make sure you have some turrets there so people can just do it and you have to actually defend that spot so drop a TP there until this gets patched please or else you'll lose your base in like half a day and you have no idea what the fuck just happened anyways right that's ice cave gone and i'm going to show you guys other caves there's so many more i have to go through like fucking hell man all right so we're at 20.864.4 right above lava cave on ragnarok again same stuff same structure as you can see it we're on like the volcano whatever thing same structure go under it and then you just climb and pick your way down um, as you can see all these areas you can do it like literally the entire area because the entire area is sloped so you can do it anywhere so if you are like living in this cave make sure you come up here and spam the entire area off like make sure everything is spammed off and you have like some turrets defending but anyways this glitch is like retarded again just go under it start clicking sometimes you get kicked out but it's honestly like the like the success rate is like too high in my opinion like if it's meshing at least make it like very very hard so not everyone can do it like right now everyone can mesh your base with this method like it is so bad there's so many people getting meshed by it again click go straight under it and then you're under it if you like look upward and spacebar you get kicked back up so you just do it this again so if people look downwards and then just jump straight down Boom. Right inside of Lava Cave. Like, again, skipping the entire first death wall, the entrance, anything. They just drop straight behind, like, at all your breeders. Simple as that. Like, there's no way you can counter it. It's not even worth putting internals at this point because there's just so many spots people can jump down from. So it's better to just spam off the top entrance for now until this thing gets patched, which I hopefully will be soon, I guess. But yeah, people can, like, drop from like all the way up there and then they can just fly with a tech suit like up here or like anywhere it is so bad that you can literally fly anywhere and then just drop down people can like drop down right here you probably don't have internals here and you probably have all the breeders here they can just drop anywhere they want and then they can wipe your base from the inside so again hopefully you don't live here if you live here remember to spam tele and spam a teleporter whatever the hell you want just make sure that people can't mesh there all right next one Alright, so we're at 26.336.1. Now, if you haven't been sleeping during the transition, you probably saw the giant S next to the lunar caves. That's because this method works on all lunar cave, and this is the main one, so I'll be showing you this one. But if you live in any of the lunar caves, you have a problem, right? Now, lunar cave is actually the worst out of all these base spots because the other cave location has like mesh protection, which will bounce survivors back to the surface. Genesis does not. Genesis is actually crap in terms of mesh detection. So if you live in one of these caves, you have two options, right? One, spam the entire asteroid with foundation so no one can build above you. Or two, go fuck off and find a new base spot. Because there's no way you're defending against this with this amount of like mesh detection that Ark only provides. So yeah, I'm just going to go to the top and show you guys the method. Right, as usual, you just want to find a slope. Put some pillars down, two exactly.
Alright. Anyways, you need a grappling hook for this. Uh, you can also use a tech suit, obviously, but you just want to put two pillars sitting on top and then a billboard. It's right in front of it. Snap it as close as possible. And uh, yeah, that's it. Very, very broken. Now, again, you want to go under the billboard and make sure that you get the snap point. And yeah, you're under the mesh. Simple as that. Right, as you can see, you're literally hanging under the mesh. And then you just jump forward. And then you'll literally be under the mesh. Now, I literally turned on, like, turned off, sorry, turned off GCM right here. So we could, I can show you guys, I didn't get killed. Like, it's not like because I'm on GCM that I can mesh or anything. No, it's literally because this game's crap. You can do this anywhere. Like, I don't have GCM on. I have infinite stats to deal with the, um, like, weather. But that doesn't matter because if it kills you, it kills you. You just go down here. You, you have a grapple hook, have a tech suit, anything. Like, people can actually just come down here. And then start shooting rockets down at your base, right? Like, that's your base right there if you live in this cave. That's why you're crafting area as well. Because this is like towards the very end of the cave. Again, method works anywhere. It actually works across the entire surface of the cave anywhere. Now, people can obviously shoot up here. Or they can just venture downwards a bit. But the risk of going downwards is they might get detected and get kicked up to the surface. Which is good for you. But... If Ark is crap and you're in shit luck, it doesn't kick them up, you have a problem. Because as soon as they get down here, it's not just they can shoot rockets, which they still can by the way. As you can see right now, they can still shoot a rocket down there and then blow up those... Whatever the hell you have there. I don't know, tames, breeders, crafting area, storage, anything. They can just blow it up from all the way up here. Not only that, right? There's something worse that they can do. Now, they can't grapple back up because the um, the mesh kind of blocks them. But what they can do is they can actually put a bed directly here and have people spawn in the mesh if they want to speed run your cave. Normally this would be impossible because the mesh doesn't allow you to build in it. However, this particular spot, for some reason, I don't know, during development, the devs decide, oh yeah, sure, I'll have people build here. So people can just put a foundation here, put a bed here, and then if you, and then yeah, they can just have the entire tribe spawn there. Now, obviously, if you already have like foundation in this cave, they can't do that. But they can also just put down sleeping bags and just continue meshing. So if you are, again, if you live in these caves, make sure you spam the entire top entrance or the entire top of the cave to be exact. Because there's no way you can prevent people from doing things after they're in the mesh already. The only way you can prevent people from actually meshing your base is to prevent them from using this method in the first place. So you have to spam the entire top part of the cave if you want your cave to be safe. Now, this is going to cost resources, but it's definitely worth it unless Ark uh, fixes their game. So yeah, that's Lunar Cave. Now I guess we're up to the next one. Alright, we're at 49.19.7. Entrance of Oil Cave. Um, as you can see, this is where people normally have the death wall like a bit inside. And if you're aware, Oil Cave is like one of the best base spot on Ark currently. Um, it has like a very big space and it has like one of the smallest entrance you can say, except probably like Bear Cave or something. But yeah, it's definitely one of the top base spots that many people base on official. Unfortunately, you guessed it, Meshable. Right, we're at 49.7, 17.8. Again, very familiar structure. Uh, as you can see right here, we are pretty much directly above the oil cave. Again, simple structure as usual. Go under it, climbing pick, you go straight under the mesh. Then you just jump, and then you pretty much just fall down. Now, this is fairly decent because it sometimes kicks you back up. However, I don't know how arc mesh detection works, because it t kicks you back up, like, not all the time. So arc detection is pretty crap, like, here at least. Because sometimes it does kick you back up, sometimes it doesn't. So if you're, like, built in one of these caves, don't expect arc, protect like, arc detection to protect you. Because if someone can, like, just jump down here sometimes, then yeah, they're going to mesh your base. Doesn't matter how many times they get kicked back up, as long as it succeeds one time, you're fucked. 
right? Now, you might say that, oh, yeah, pe people can just, like, have internals here, or I can just have internals here, and I can prevent meshing, right? But, again, you forgot that this thing can literally work on any place. Like, all the entire ceiling, you can just pretty much go through anything, right? Um, I'm just gonna go back up. There's another spot, which I think is where people would mesh. So that's definitely where you want your foundations to be. Now this entire plateau here, if you live in oil cave, needs to be completely spammed off with foundation. You don't exactly need turrets, although it is recommended. However, for now, you definitely need foundations. As you can see right there, that's the um, second billboard I have. And that's actually where I think people would mesh, because this is the best place for meshing um, from all this testing I did. Again, look upwards. You kind of just spam around here a bit and... Uh, you kind of just get the snap point and underground you go. Now sometimes you do fail because, you know, it's an exploit and it's sometimes pretty weird. But as soon as you get the uh, snap point, you just go straight down. And then you're pretty much in oil cave. And as you can see, this is the like furthest back you can go in oil cave. So this is, this is like the really, really far end. And again, just don't think that just by putting turrets here you're fine because people can just tech suit like in the middle of the mesh to control where they drop and they can see anything uh, if they're like in the mesh so they can literally see through your base to see if there's turrets so make sure you don't use like internals to try and prevent this method like yeah you can have some internals that might work sometimes if you're lucky but definitely the major thing you need to do is you need to have those foundations all right next one All right, we're at 27.163. Now we're pretty much directly above the bear cave, the bear cave of the center, and this is probably one of the most hardest base to raid on Ark currently. But uh, yeah, as you guessed, meshable. So you can just put two pillars down as usual, feeling billboard, all that crap, just the standard meshing technique. And then you just get a climbing pick, go under it, and uh, as usual, start clicking. Might not work the first time, it might, it's kind of like luck. And there you go. Now you just want to jump down and go straight downwards. Now, you get to this like hard layer of things, which is good if you're built in like this cave. Because this cave is actually one of the hardest for people to mesh, just because of this like layer. Um, that prevents rockets from going through, actually. However, the problem is, this layer does not send people back, while the layers around it does. That's a really good question if you're, like, watching any of Ark developers. Why the fuck is this not decided as, like, a mesh, right? See, if I grapple forward over there, right, and I reel myself in, I jump, I get teleported up. So that's a mesh. But the other part, the one I was on, isn't a mesh. Like, come on, mate. Can't you just make that a mesh as well? That solves, like, most of the problem. Not the method, but, you know, solves this cave's problem, at least. Anyways, you just jump downwards, land on the non-mesh. It's the opposite. It isn't even, like, completely, like, a mesh. It's only the side that's a mesh, which is kind of funny. And then you just grapple, and then, yeah, you just fall straight down to the bear cave. Ah, very skillful, very fun. Again, this is literally in the middle of the bear cave. You can do this across pretty much the entire bear cave um, surface. So it's not like you can use heavies to defend it or any crap like that. I'm just going to show you one more time. People don't actually have to drop down in this cave. They can go to the side and then shoot your base. So if you think that just because you have rockets, um, turrets, sorry, below, you're fine. You're not, right? Again, you just want to grapple or right, climbing pick. Down here, grapple across, and then instead of dropping downwards or releasing the grapple, people would grapple the um, side wall, and then that would allow them to stand on the side wall. And as you can see, all of those are mesh below, and you can shoot through the mesh. Very, very good. And uh, yeah, just pull a rocket launcher and uh, just fire straight downwards. And if you build here, oh. Shit luck, because uh, unless you call an idiot like me, they can actually like shoot your base down there, as you can see right now. That metal lock is literally gone. Yep, so you can shoot all the way down there. People have like 
turrets down there, you can always use other methods. But yeah, that's Sensor Cave, and uh, yeah, if you live here, remember to spam the top, or else you are fucked. Alright, so really quickly a suggestion in case any ARC devs could be watching a video, which I don't think so, but I mean, whatever, just in case. Uh, you could make like pillars and ceilings unclimbable by climbing pick. That's like a really good short-term solution until you find like a better solution to completely patch this. Because patching uh, cave by cave is definitely not an option right now, because this thing needs to go fast. But yeah, and uh, to anyone who's watching this video who's not a dev, well, I <laughs> congratulations for actually watching this far. I, actually, not really. Because the reason you watch this far probably is because you have like a base in a cave. Again, this method works for any cave. So not just because you don't live in one of these caves does not mean you're safe. If you live in any cave or pretty much any base like in general, make sure you spam around it. But if you're living in like a cave, make sure you spam above the cave until the devs actually find a way to fix it. But yeah, that's going to be it from me for this video. I hope that your base hasn't already been meshed and you can actually like use these methods to help save your base. Also hope like the devs will fix this really quickly so this won't be a problem. Because I many people who actually like message me has already been wiped by this glitch. So it's like a really big problem already on like small tribes especially. But yeah, uh, 10k videos will be out soon so if you haven't hit that sub make sure you do right now. Also, this week I'll also be releasing a bunch of exploits that I hope that Wildcat can fix. So if you want to like know of these exploits and try to like make your base in a way to like prevent people from abusing these exploits and uh, raiding you or wiping you, make sure you sub so you can get notified as soon as I upload. And as soon as I upload, you can take the method and then go and like modify your defense and try to save your base. But yeah, so that's going to be it for me. Uh, I'll see all legends in the next one. Peace out.